girls, it's me, Mrs. Rojas. Uh, thank you for tuning in to Mrs. Rojas eLearning. Today is going to be videos day five and six. We're doing iStation Math Unit 35. Make sure you have your packet. It says Operations, Addition, Problem Solving Strategies. It starts with page one. So the first one just tells you what your packet has. Move that to the side. The second one, it gives you a little bit more information, your objective and the materials that are in your packet. Um, and I really want you to focus on your vocabulary, which is at and some. We covered those on the previous videos as part of our vocabulary for our fact families. So adding, we do know that you find the total by combining two or more sets, right? You put them together. And for some, some is just the answer when you do add those, those add-ins, right? Um, you're adding two or more of the numbers, the add-ins. All right, I'll move that to the side. Reference this if you need to for vocabulary. Okay, so this is going to be our day one. It starts on page three. If you would like to follow, if not, it's okay. This is what I'm teaching you, okay? Um, so, for example, boys and girls, we solve problems and make decisions every day, right? It's just life. Whether we encounter these problems in, in class, we've done that outside of school, um, we need certain strategies to be able to solve those problems, right? Okay, so for example, let's say I'm planning a party, right? Um, it might be a lot of work. It typically is, right? We need to send out invitations, maybe buy food, supplies, decorate a space, right? Games, activities, set the tails, buy party, uh, buy party favors, and things like that, right? And it might be a lot of information for us to be able to keep track, right? So we also need to decide how much money, right, this is going to cost us uh, as well, right? So what are some things that I can do to actually help myself, help me plan, right? Some things to think about, okay? So some ways, start thinking. All right, I'm thinking that I might need to maybe make a list, right? Maybe make a list of the people who I might invite, maybe a list of the things I need to buy, right? I might need to look into how much the food is going to cost, right? Because it's not going to be cheap or free. I need to purchase those supplies, right? I need to know how much they cost and total all of that up as well, right? Um, I need a plan. Maybe I can draw it out as well, right? To help me solve, all right? So those are just some ideas to help me figure this out, right? All right, so today what we're going to do is we're gonna start off with our model, okay? This is going to be to open up our lesson, okay? Now, um, there are two strategies, boys and girls, that we're gonna focus on. So if you have page 10, what I need you to do is if you do have scissors with you, you can cut out page 10, okay? You can do that now. Okay, boys and girls, so now that you've cut out page 10, if you did not have scissors, it's okay. You can just put your page to the top, fold it, right? Fold it out, and that way you can see those two cards. One of them says work backward, and the other one says draw a picture, okay? We're going to figure out which strategy we're actually going to use to help us figure out um, and solve our problem, right? All of these problems that we're going to work today are going to be with addition, right? So we're going to figure out which model to use first, okay? So I'm going to give you a scenario, okay? Um, I want you to follow along with me, okay? And, um, and let's find out which strategy I'm actually going to work with, okay, in this example, okay? And then in a little bit, you're going to practice that as well. Okay, so follow with me. Okay, so this is my model right here, boys and girls, okay? So this is my example. I have, let's pretend these are blocks, okay? These are pieces of magnets that I had. So let's pretend they are blocks. I have them in my basket, okay? Let's say I'm going to transfer them over to my next basket, okay? So I'm gonna just start moving them along, moving them along, moving them along, moving them along. And as I'm moving them along, I'm going which direction? I'm going forward, right? Okay, so I moved them, but wait a minute. How many blocks did I have originally? I started off with how many? Five, right? But how many did I wind up here at my end? This is my start. How many did I have at my end? Oh, in the end I had four here, right? Uh-oh, but I do need five. So what do I need to go do? I might need to retrace my steps, right? And I'm going to go from the end back to the beginning to make sure I pick up all my blocks that I originally 
had right with me in my basket okay so i know i discovered that the beginning number was my five so i'm going to be working what working backward or should i draw a picture so if i need to go back that's already a keyword i am going to work backward right so i'm going to go back do, 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 do. keep going back keep going back and this is where i started right and originally where i started i started with how many I started with five okay working backwards boys and girls it's an excellent strategy to finding missing information in a problem just like I did here okay this is just an example as a model to open this lesson up okay now boys and girls I'm going to erase my board so we, we looked at working backward now which one do you think we have left here to work at okay so now we're going to be drawing a picture okay Let's figure out how we can do that when we're actually needing to draw a picture, okay? All right. I'm going to read you a little story, and I'm going to be drawing arrows as I'm reading it. And I want you to follow along. Let's see if this method helps you to be able to solve problems as well, okay? All right, boys and girls. You can do this as well on a sheet of paper. Follow my directions. Let's see how well you do if your model matches my model, okay? All right. Okay. So this is what it says. Today I rode two miles north. So remember your, your, your compass rose, right? North. So I'm going two miles right there. And I'm actually going to mark it two miles short. And this is my starting point right here, right? So I rode my bike two miles north. And then I turned right and rode three miles. Oh, then I turned from this point. I turned, and this time I wrote three miles, right? You have that so far? Good. Okay. Next, I turned left and rode one mile. So turn left, one mile. So where is left? From this point, I'm turning left, and I did one mile. Good. See if yours matches mine, okay? Finally, I turned right and rode three more miles so now i'm going to go from this point i'm going to turn right this way up oh, this way and i'm going three miles and boys and girls i am down to my finish line right okay drawing this picture boys and girls right here helps me remember my path right now i can simply just add up all of those miles that I traveled on my bike today to see how far I rode from my starting point to my end point. You see how that works? Okay, so drawing a picture can definitely help us in many different situations, but especially when my actions and changes are taking place. Okay, all right, so make sure two different strategies work backward and draw a picture these will help you okay all right boys and girls i'm going to move on into my guided practice so you can set your drawing to the side if you did it with me okay all right so now boys and girls we're we briefly did examine these two problem solving strategies we're working backwards like i mentioned and drawing a picture both of these strategies help us organize our information before we actually do solve a problem I'm going to give you, boys and girls, a strategy card, okay? So make sure, boys and girls, that you have these pages. You're going to need page 12 and you're going to need page 13, okay? Now, page 12, you're going to use it for day two. And this top part is for day one. This one's for, I'm sorry, for your day five. And this one's for your day six, okay? All right, so make sure you have this one handy, page 13, because we're going to reference that in a bit. So for right now, take page 12, and I want you to cut out these two cards, the small, it should say small strategy symbol cards. Go ahead and at this time, if you do have scissors, go ahead and cut, and I'll be right back. Okay, welcome back, boys and girls. If you did cut these out, perfect. If you did not, it is okay. What you can do is, again, look at them, the small ones, as long as you know how to write the word. It says work backward with the arrow, and then draw a picture. You can actually write your responses here if you do have a pencil or crayon or anything you have available to write with, okay? All right, that's all you were gonna do. We we're just gonna match, okay? For this sheet, page 13, you are not going to solve yet, okay? You will solve 
at the end of the lesson as part of your independent. You're also going to do it for your day two uh, problems as well, okay? So for right now, all we're going to do is we're actually going to read the problem and we're going to decide which strategy will best work, okay? I'm going to read it, you will decide. I will pause it for a little bit. We'll come back and check. You'll match your, yours with mine and then we'll do the same for B, okay? That's just for practice, okay? So just keep in mind, boys and girls, when we're drawing, we're actually drawing, we're using this when we're doing multiple things, right? Just like we did with riding the bike that many miles, right? Okay, so several steps. Uh, that would be a perfect strategy, okay? All right, so let's look at um, our strategy matching sheet page 13 okay later on you might be able to glue this if you do have glue and you can do that towards the end as well okay you don't have to you can also just write it all right letter a it says um eduardo invited three friends over for a card game he gave each friend five cards so once again he invited three friends he gave each friend five cards and he kept four cards for himself how many cards did they use to play the game right remember boys and girls these problems are all addition so which strategy would you use to be able to solve would you use a work backward or a draw a picture don't solve it just pick one of these strategies and place it on top of your sheet i will be right back all right so boys and girls we're back which of these letters did you use a work backward? Well, actually, let's go to A because I didn't read you B, so that's not fair. So let's look at A. Which one would you use for A? Would you do work backward or draw a picture? Okay, if you chose draw a picture, you got that one correct. Good job. Remember, you can always glue it. If not, you just write it in, draw a picture, draw your pencil in there, okay? Now, the reason for this, boys and girls, why would you have chosen draw a picture? Okay, think about it. You can usually draw, right? It's already telling you. You can visualize it and you can draw it out. He invited three friends, so you can draw three friends, right? He gave each friend five cards. So here's five for you, here's five for you, and here's five for you. And then he, you can draw Eduardo who kept how many? He kept four. You can total all that up, right? So kind of like our bike ride mile game. So yeah, draw a picture to help you solve. Good job. So I'm gonna read B, okay? A train started its trip in Pennsylvania with all passengers on board. In Virginia, 17 people got off the train. When the train made its last stop, there were 128 people on it, okay? So they're kind of already giving you that total there. How many people were on the train in Pennsylvania, okay? So I know that in Pennsylvania, um, it says it started its trip in Pennsylvania with all the passengers on board. Are they giving us the total number there of how many passengers were on board? Right, we have some numbers missing. We have a number missing there. So I'm thinking, boys and girls, that if you did working backwards strategy from the total, right, that it's giving you of 128 people, and we know that 17 people got off the train, what I can do here is work backwards to be able to get my complete total of where it started, just like I did with my blocks, remember? I started with five. I picked four, I left one behind, and I had to go backwards to get my complete total. This is something that you can practice with this problem, okay? Because you're missing some information, that's what we need to figure out, all right? Good job, boys and girls. Okay, you can also glue that down. If not, just write the word word backward and draw your picture, okay? All right, now we can set this one to the side. Do not get rid of page 13 because you will be solving on page 15. So if you notice, I put problem A, problem B. I don't have another sheet. You probably don't either. So on the back of that sheet, it is blank. You can draw out C and D because you will be working out day two on the back of this paper, okay? And then putting your answer and working out your problem here to solve. You're either going to draw a picture or work backward for that one, okay? All right, so for problem page 15, this is where you boys and girls would be 
uh, solving your problems for your independent practice, okay? I'm going to allow you to try to work A and B out here on page 15. Go ahead and draw how to be able to solve it and write your answer here in the box. Do the same for B. Go ahead and work backwards, okay? Figure this out, okay? And then work your answer here on the box corner. And we'll come back and check um, this. Um, will be checked as part of your independent practice all together for page two, okay? Just try your best, okay? I'll see you back for day two. Hi, boys and girls, this is Mrs. Rojas once again back for day two day six, right? So I just finished day five earlier. So for day six, you're going to be looking at page seven, eight, nine for your lesson, along with page um, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. It may seem like a lot, but it's because you have to cut out some things, okay? So before we get to the cutting part, let me just open up our lesson by explaining the lesson from before, okay? We saw two different ways, working backwards and also drawing a picture. Those are two of the methods we used earlier, okay? Uh, we need to solve problems when missing information. We know that the best way to do that is we're working backwards, right? When we're, they're not giving us all the numbers, all the, the, the numbers we need to be able to solve, right? Um, when we need to keep track of several steps, several actions in the story, boys and girls, the one that was most helpful was drawing a picture, right? Okay, we've learned that solving problems is a part of everyday life, right? For example, when I go to the grocery store, um, I could just wander right up and down the aisles looking at all these choices and try to remember what I need or what I want, right? Try to remember. However, that will take a very long time, right? So what could I do to help my shopping trip more efficient, okay? How can I make it better when I go to the store? right and not have to remember everything that i might need or want what can i do mm, maybe i might make a list right so look at page 11. we're going to maybe cut these out if you have scissors okay if you don't it's okay just kind of fold it and um this is just like what we did here okay so go ahead and take time right now and go ahead and cut Okay, boys and girls, now that you cut this out, um, make sure you're looking at this one that says make a list. This is one strategy that we're going to utilize today along with um, making a table, okay? We're going to end up using page 14, so make sure you have these out, C and D. We're going to do the same thing just like we did for A and B, okay? We're going to figure out which one of these we're going to use, but before that, um, we're going to find out uh, how and what's going to help us figure out which strategy we should use okay so looking at my big grocery list here right typically when I make a list boys and girls I'm using numbers and I put them in order and then I write down what I need as soon as I'm shopping right and stuff and I already find what I'm looking for I cross it out okay that helps me keep track and knowing what else I need right from my list okay now that is you using making a list you keep track it helps you okay um, so boys and girls, there's another situation. So when we need to solve problems that follow patterns, just like here, let's say for example, there's a manager at a movie theater, right? He needs to know how many people can fit in the theater, right? Um, to be able to watch the movie in his theater, there's an equal number of chairs in every row. Okay. So boys and girls start thinking rows and columns here, right? So there are different types of rows. They're already telling me that in each row. It starts off with four, then if I have two rows, it goes up to eight, then I have three rows, I'm adding 12, 12 all together, and then I have four rows, there's a total of 16. So this is the number of chairs, right, all together in my theater with this many number of rows. If I keep going for my rows five, then I know I'm going to add on which number, because that's the number I started off with, four more, right? So it keeps growing as a pattern. So when you're doing making a table, you're looking for a pattern, okay? Now let's look at both of these really quick. Let's examine what is the same and what is different about those strategies that we can use. Um, I can see that's the same. Look at that. It's the same with numbers, right? One, two, three, four, same rows right here. Here we have six, right? Here we have more words. Here we just have numbers, okay? Here might need two bananas, three apples, but here, 
there's a pattern that I'm following. So that's something that's a little different, right? But I know that both of these keep me organized. That's something that's the same about those both, okay? All right, so now we're gonna figure out, boys and girls, by looking at page um, eight, we're going to figure out which one of these I should use to be able to solve that problem. I'm not going to solve the problem, but I am going to figure these out. I will solve, remember, for your independent practice at the end of the video, okay? So I'm gonna read C, you're gonna figure out which one you need. And before you do that, take a little bit of time and go to the, la the half of the section that you have left from page 12. This is the small cards, like the ones that I have here. Remember, these are my large cards. And then I have small cards, they're the same thing, okay? These you can end up gluing when you figure these out. You can glue them there, okay? So take some time and cut them out if you have scissors. If you don't, it's okay. You can just write the word. Make a table or make a list, okay? Okay, boys and girls, welcome back. I hope you did cut out your smalls. If you didn't remember, you're just going to write, make a table or make a list on either of these boxes, okay? All right, so I'm going to read C. We're going to decide which one of these best fits the strategy that we should use, okay? So for C, Jackie is organizing the clothes in her closet. She has four jackets, six shirts, three dresses, and seven scarves. How many items does she have in all? So think about these two strategies that I just mentioned, make a table or make a list, it's the same ones here. Which one do you think would best fit into C? Now let's look at D, I'm gonna read D, okay? So be thinking about it. A farmer keeps 12 cows in each pen on the farm. Two pens have a total of 24 cows and three pens have a total of 36 cows. How many cows are in five pens, okay? So think about which strategy would best make a table or make a list, okay? I'll come back and we'll check our answers. Okay, boys and girls, so which one did you choose for C? Which of these strategy would you use? Would you make a table or make a list? If you chose, make a list. Ding, 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 you got it right. Put a check mark on it. So boys and girls, what's the reason why we chose making a list? Well, it's actually listing several items for you, right? So you can just write them down and organize those. It's listing four jackets, six shirts, those commas in between. We use commas when we make lists. That's another key example there, okay? So yeah, and then you get your total, right, of how many items you need. So this is also an addition problem. Both of these are. All right, so then that means that for letter D, of course, it was make a table so if you chose make a table ding 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 good job you got it check mark it now boys and girls we know that why why do we need to make a table for this okay because it's already telling us boys and girls that the cows are in equal groups so it says he keeps 12 cows in each pen so that's one right one pen there's 12 in here in two there's a total of 24 so they're adding in more then in three, there's a total of 36. You see that number? You're adding some more in there. So I know, boys and girls, and I'm also thinking rows and columns here, okay? So making a table for pen one, pen two, pen three, right? And it says how many cows are in the five pens. So if I keep going, one, two, three, four, and five, starting with number 12, and I keep adding in there, 12, 12, 12 every time, what would be your end result when you have five pens all together? That is what you, boys and girls, are going to solve on your problem solving sheet. You will be solving, remember what I mentioned in day five? So today for day six, boys and girls, you're going to be challenged. You are going to solve A, page 13, B, page 14, C, and D. You are going to use page 15 to show your work, okay? And using these strategies, which is make a table, make a list, or work backwards and draw a picture for letters A and B, C and D, okay? So don't forget, boys and girls, this is what you have to solve for your independent practice. So try it out for problem A. Read it, solve it, give me your answer. B, read it, solve it, give me your answer, 
Remember I said, I don't have another one of these. You don't either. So turn it to the back of page 15 and draw it out. See, solve it, write your answer, and then D, solve it, and then write your answer, okay? All right, this is what will be turned in, okay, when we turn in our packets again, all right? Um, so work hard, boys and girls. You're already becoming expert problem solvers. I hope that this video helped. Please stay safe, and I will see you soon for videos uh, seven and eight. Bye.